Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. This one's wife, Venomous. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. This one's wife has had many adjectives to describe the way that she behaves, the way that she conducts herself, her various characteristics. Earlier on, I explained that she's lazy and useless, something of a draft sack of an individual who expects the world to owe her a living, an ossitant approach to life where she expects just to turn up and be paid, a shiftless existence of being a luskisp. This is the behaviour of the middle mid-range narcissist that expects that everybody ought to run around after her, that the world should revolve about her, because after all, she's this one's wife and she's hugely important. However, there are many people that regard her behaviour as particularly nasty. They would go so far as to describe her as evil, poisonous, venomous. Do you know what the difference is between venomous and poisonous? Well, I'll explain to you. Poison is a toxin that gets into your body where you inhale it, where you swallow it, or perhaps it's even absorbed through your skin. Venomous is when the toxin is injected into you. Venomous may well be the more accurate description of this one's wife, whilst being around her might be poisonous for you because you might inhale her poison, she's more likely to come along and inject her venom into you as part of her malign hoovering activity. Thus, she's regarded as a venomous individual. And as a consequence of a posting that has occurred on the subreddit, saying this one's wife, they use a full name, I do not, by someone called Strix the Owl, they have picked up something that was posted on Tumblr about this one's wife's previous behaviour. Naturally, I leave it up to you to make a determination about the veracity of this information. But let's examine what has been suggested about her, and then consider, is this applicable to somebody who is a narcissist? On Tumblr, somebody called Sassis Frass Boss states, So as a daughter of a former courtier, I have some information to share. What this one's wife wants, this wasn't just about the wedding. As when Harry proposed, he proposed with a basic ring. And this one's wife wanted something more bling, so to speak. Pausing there. She is a somatic narcissist, and therefore, with her sense of entitlement and the necessity of wanting to subconsciously triangulate people with her ring to say, look at me, aren't I important? I've got something that's shiny and showy off. Plus, as well, she doesn't have much class, means it's entirely conceivable that she would behave this way. She then, alongside Harry, approached the Queen and basically demanded, sense of entitlement, that she have the centre emerald of the choker necklace placed into a diamond parve ring alongside two other large diamonds from the royal collection, which apparently were from the Victorian or Georgian era. Thus she's given a perfectly good and perfectly expensive engagement ring, but no, she wants more. She wants to be seen. She wants the shine, the bling, and approaches the Queen in that manner. This demonstrates her lack of emotional empathy for Harry in terms of basically saying, fuck me, where did you get that ring from? Did you put 50p on the central pier in Blackpool and an elephant went around and then deposited and that's what you've offered me? No. This one's wife needs to have the best, something that can be shown to everybody to let them know that she's important and they're not. Nevertheless, her demand fell on deaf ears because the Queen said, no. Good old QE2. This, of course, amounts to challenge fuel. The response itself provides her with fuel, but the fact that she is told no is a threat to her control. As those of you who have had an involvement with a narcissist will know, saying no to a narcissist really does not go down well at all, 
and can result in a temper tantrum through the exhibition of heated ignited fury or an icy response by way of the provision of cold fury. As a consequence of this response, the individual who writes on Tumblr explains that this one's wife got venomous and is the reason why the Queen said she was evil. It doesn't actually describe what she did, but evidently behaved in a way which was inappropriate. When they couldn't get any further, Harry and this one's wife apparently approached the Earl Spencer, sense of entitlement to have him hand over diamonds from the Spencer tiara to place into the tiara to which he denied. This was among the reasons why he didn't attend the christening, the wedding he did attend, because of optics. Accordingly, this one's wife is swanning around, wanting to get the gemstones for her ring, to bring the bling, to ensure that people look at her and admire her. But she is denied by QE2, which results in a response by way of heat ignited fury, although the specifics are not provided to us. Could, did this happen? I'll let you determine, but what I can tell you is that a narcissist such as her is a middle-middle range somatic narcissist would be likely to respond in such a way both in terms of making the demands and responding in a venomous fashion when she is denied but there's more this poster also then goes on to the issue between this one's wife and Catherine explaining that it goes back to a time when this one's wife got drunk while living in Kensington Palace's cottage with Harry apparently she threw a large party which again would be something that a somatic narcissist could engage in. And it went on for a long time. Apparently William was away at this time and Catherine was pregnant and also with her two young children living close by. Catherine actually went down to tell this one's wife to stop the parting and the loud music, naturally as a consequence of being pregnant and having two young children that needed to go to sleep. The noise and the general brouhaha coming from the party, clearly disruptive. Having such a party in such circumstances without notifying other people shows her lack of boundary recognition and absence of emotional empathy, Were if it were true. Catherine went down to ask or tell her to stop this. Naturally, this would be challenge fuel. This one's wife does not like to be told what to do, and as a consequence of that, she became venomous towards Catherine. And apparently... This information says that the behaviour was in Catherine's face, with obscenities falling from this one's wife's lips and insults right into Catherine's face. And furthermore, this one's wife bought Catherine a set of stainless steel butcher knives and smirked, saying that the blood wipes right off. Triangulation and threat. Again, I leave it for you to make a determination as to the veracity of this information, but is this the way that a narcissist could behave, you bet your grandma's teeth it is. Even a middle mid-ranger that would operate a facade to the outside world, when they perceive that nobody's looking, could behave with this nasty, heated fury and to do so towards Catherine. Telling her that she needs to quieten the party down is a threat to control, which would cause an ignition of heated fury, exacerbated by the fact that this one's wife was drunk, resulting in her responding in the manner described exhibiting a venomous response through verbal insult and threat towards Catherine. Further instances of how the narcissist behaves away from the glare of publicity and entirely commensurate with the type of narcissist that this one's wife is. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>